Well, hello everybody. I'm Gemma and I'm part of the hybrid working project team here at the university. And um, for the last few weeks, we've been talking to a whole range of people across the university about how they have found hybrid work so far. And today I'm delighted to be talking to Patrick Hackett, registrar, about his own experiences of hybrid work. Um, so Patrick, first of all, thank you for your time this morning. Um, I'm really interested to know, how are you personally finding working in a hybrid way? Oh, well, good morning, Gemma, and good morning, colleagues. Um, well, quite simply, I, I'm I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it works really well for me personally, and it works, I believe, very well for me professionally um, in in my in my job um, at the university. Uh, it it seems to be able to help get a better work life balance. You know, we've all had a a really challenging twenty months. Um, uh, colleagues have worked longer hours, been under pressure with dealing with greater degrees of uncertainty. Um, but hybrid working is helping us to address some of those challenges as we come out of um, the pandemic and move into a, a new way of working in the future. So I, on the whole, I'm not saying it's perfect that we're learning quite a lot through the great experiment. Our, our champions around the university are giving us really uh, insightful feedback on how it's working for individuals and teams, because I think the answer is not one solution for everybody across the university. What's crucial to this is that teams work out work, what works well for them. So there's still things to be learned from it, um, but I'm, on the whole, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited and and upbeat. Um, I recognize that we have many, many colleagues on campus who don't have the option of hybrid working, who've been on campus throughout the, the pandemic and will be in the future. Uh, and it's important that we remember how we work together across professional services and across the university as we learn from what works best in hybrid working. And how are you structuring your own working week? What do you sort of come on to campus for and what do you prefer to do in your remote days? Paula, Gareth and I uh, work, work in my office. We, our pattern is that we um, have Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, in the office. That's when committees meet, SLT meets on a Tuesday morning. Many of our management and other committees meet on a Tuesday. PSLT meets on, on Thursdays on a fortnightly basis. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are our um, uh, in-office days as a minimum, but then we'll have one or two floating days. And it could be a Monday or Wednesday or, or a Friday, depending on whether it's the board that meets or it's an event um, or it's there's some other reason for, for, for being on campus. Um, and what about the rest of the senior team? How are they um, working in a hybrid way? There are about 17 or 18 colleagues uh, uh, on and around PSLT. Um, each individual has developed a pattern that works for them and their teams um, because we all work in different teams at the same time. Um, and so we share that information across PSLT uh, and we have some base uh, times when we come together. So as I said, we meet fortnightly as a full team uh, and we alternate on campus and virtual. Um, and we do our one-to-ones are mixed you know, uh, newer colleagues will meet face-to-face -face more regularly. Older colleagues we know well will meet perhaps a little bit more on, on Zoom. Um, and so that's the broad pattern. Um, but like everyone else, you know, we're seeing how it, what works and what, what doesn't work for us. And how do you think they're finding it so far? Are they enjoying this different way of working? Yeah, definitely. I think on the whole, everyone sees benefits. Um, uh, but equally, we're also uh, very keen to make sure that hybrid working works for all the university. Um, you know, uh, we should we need to remember that we're we're here for our students and our staff to make sure that they have a, a an excellent experience and that we deliver on our core goals. You know, research, education, and social responsibility. That's why we're here. That's our mission. Um, uh, uh, so hybrid working, I think, is transforming the way many of us in the university are able to work. Um, 
but that we need to make sure that works in in the round for uh, uh, for all of our activities in the university and i think at the moment that's looking very good um there are some things we need to watch for uh you know some feedback we're getting is that some colleagues feel that the campus can feel quiet at certain times um they they sense that they're being asked more questions by students and this has been said by one or two academic colleagues um, that might be because the student student behaviors are changing as well um, but we just need to watch for the potential risks uh, that exist as well around hybrid working and, and just on that really i'm interested have you experienced any challenges or difficulties about working in a hybrid way very few actually uh, the diary I guess is is the biggest challenge. Um, I can find myself in the office for an event, but spend the whole of the day on Zoom when I'm in when I'm in the office. So I, I've lost the opportunity of going out, popping out, meeting colleagues, and having those informal informal conversations. Um, so I think that's just something about how we continue to to manage our diaries differently in the future. Um, the other thing I found uh, early on but less so as we get more used to it, is, is having hybrid meetings. So having some colleagues in a room in, in the office and other colleagues remotely. Uh, and how do you make sure that the dynamics of the meeting feel inclusive for everybody? Um, and uh, early on, I, I, that felt like a, very different and alien and challenging. But actually, the more we get used to it and more everybody understands how to make sure we're, we include everybody in a meeting. Um, the, the better that's becoming as well. And, and a good opportunity perhaps for me to plug the fact that we have a short training course on how to run hybrid meetings and make them inclusive. Um, one final question, if I can, Patrick, um, and that's, you know, you've been a really big advocate of hybrid work right from the start of, of this conversation and, and this project starting early in 2021. So have you got any final thoughts for anyone watching this video about how we can make hybrid working a success uh, for the university by the time we get to the end of that pilot period? There's probably two things for me. One, I've, I've already mentioned, um, always remember we're here to ensure a really high quality student experience and staff experience, and that we're here to deliver on our mission and our core goals. And everything is intended to achieve those aims and objectives. Um, but I think it, coming back differently, the opportunity of working in a hybrid fashion for those who are able to take that opportunity around the university is really, really significant. And it, it's one of the few occasions where I think we really can tackle the work life. Um, if, if, that's not People don't always like that expression, the work life balance. But I think you know what I mean about being able to achieve what you want to achieve professionally, but also be able to achieve what you want to achieve personally in your in your own lives. This, this hybrid way of working for those who are able to avail of it is a fantastic opportunity. And my, my, my second point is to encourage colleagues to engage with it fully, test different ways of working, talk to each other in your teams, um, find out what works for you and feed that back to us. We have a full project board and we have our champions and everything in place to understand what works and what doesn't work. We don't always do that in our projects. We don't learn lessons from the projects. This project is really set up to make sure that we learn what works well and what doesn't work well. So that when we get to the summer and we reflect on how well it's gone, we can then say this is how we're going to move forward together in the future. And we can do that with confidence. And I, I have to say, I'm, I'm really, really excited about um, the opportunities that it presents for all of us. Fantastic. Thank you, Patrick, so much for just giving us a, an insight to how hybrid working is working for you.